Welcome to all of you watching this vlog around the world uh, on this Friday. Uh, last night, the British government announced that it was going to extend the lockdown for another three weeks. This may be similar to what you're experiencing. Uh, for us in the UK, it's not news that we weren't expecting, but even so, to have it confirmed feels a little sad. For some, overwhelming. Particularly think of people looking after very young children, grandparents who aren't able to see their grandchildren, people who are separated from their adult children who can't care for elderly relatives. Three weeks sounds a very long time. As it happens, the British people in general uh, seem to be weathering this quite well. But as time goes on, they, perhaps like you, wherever you are, are going to feel increasingly frustrated. The key to dealing with this frustration is a matter of focus, where our eyes are fixed. And today I want to turn to the book of 2 Corinthians to help us think about uh, an appropriate focus, particularly if you're feeling three more weeks. Gosh, that seems like an awfully long time. Well, Paul wrote these words in 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 4, trying to encourage the Corinthians in times of trial and expressing his own uh, pressure, the, the trials he was going through, uh, far worse than lockdown, the beatings, the persecutions, the, the sheer enemies that he was finding everywhere uh, among Jews and among Gentiles. So he writes this in verse 8 of chapter 4. We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed. Perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not abandoned. Struck down, but not destroyed. And then he goes on to talk about the life of Christ within him. And then verse 16 says this, therefore we do not lose heart. And as you read that chapter uh, today, I hope that will be your experience too. You do not lose heart as this lockdown continues around the world in various forms. I think today we can learn some useful lessons from the persecuted church. We know that there are countries around the world where lockdown situations are not at all uh, related to coronavirus, but related to government and state pressure. There are Christians who have never met in a large group with other Christians. There are Christians who've never been free to express their faith publicly, who struggle to get hold of a copy of the scriptures which they can own or read in a way um, that gives them uh, freedom to express their belief and faith, even with a small group. Some of them are hiding their faith from their families even, terrified about what it would mean if they were to express, even to those nearest and dearest, that they're followers of Jesus. And so today, in this lockdown, we must keep a sense of perspective, even though we might be feeling a bit weary of the whole process. Our brothers and sisters in the persecuted world have known this lockdown for years and years and have survived because their faith in Christ is real and rich and personal and doesn't depend on external circumstances. They feel like Paul felt crushed, oppressed, but they don't lose heart because Jesus lives inside them, as he lives inside you and me as his followers. That's why we have hope. That's why we have confidence in the future. That's why even in these straitened and difficult times, going on longer than we want, longer than perhaps we expected, with no obvious end in sight, the only successful way to live for most of us now is what the persecuted church have known for years, which is to live day by day. Sufficient unto the day, the old version of the Bible used to say, is the evil thereof. There's enough in today for us to cope with. So let's focus just on today. Today is the day of salvation. Today we'll receive all the strength we need for today. So forgetting tomorrow, let's make sure today we do not lose heart. Sad, perhaps, frustrated, almost certainly, but filled with the life of Christ. So perplexed, yes, but not downhearted, because Jesus lives in us. 
and longs to fill us with his life today. So may our focus be on him and not the circumstances which are around us in our world today.